Hello, in this video we're going to take this utility function and find out how much income is required for the consumer to start buying good Z. Here's our consumer's utility function. It is a function of three goods, X, Y, and Z. The consumer has M dollars to spend on good X, Y, and Z. Each good is priced at one dollar each. How much income does the consumer need to start buying good Z? Here's our budget constraint with the three goods. We're going to set all prices equal to one, as mentioned above. So our budget constraint will simplify down to the following. We're going to solve for the margin utilities. The margin utility of good X is going to be the partial derivative of the utility function with respect to good X. So the partial derivative of X is just one, and that leaves us with the following the margin utility of good y. So the partial derivative of y here is just 1, so that drops out and we're left with x multiplied by 1 plus c, which appears in parentheses. And then the margin utility of good z. So the partial derivative of z is 1, and that 1 is being multiplied by x times y, and we have our result. Utility maximization requires that the margin utility per dollar for each good is equal. And remember, all the prices are 1, so we simplified things, keeping all prices equal to $1. So setting the margin utilities equal to one another and substituting in our expressions over here on the left, we have the following. So rewriting that last expression. And what we're going to do here, we're going to take this uh, y multiplied by 1 plus c and set that equal to x times y. So the expression on the left-hand side equals the expression on the far right-hand side. And then we're going to solve that for x, and you'll notice what happens here. We got y on each side, so the y's cancel, and we have this nice expression for x, x equals 1 plus z. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take this middle expression and set it equal to this expression on the right, this x times y. And we're going to solve now for y, and what you'll notice here is that the x's cancel nicely. So y equals 1 plus c. We're going to substitute these two functions into the budget constraint. So the functions that we just found here, we're going to plug those into the budget constraint. Here's our budget constraint from the first slide. So where we have x, we're going to replace it with 1 plus c. And where we have y, we're going to place that with 1 plus c. Making those substitutions. And simplifying the right-hand side, we got 3z, so 3z plus 2 subtracting 2 from both sides, and now dividing through by 3. We'll notice here for the consumer to start buying good Z, income M has to exceed 2, or $2. So for example, if M equals 1, Z will equal 0. The consumer will not buy any units of good Z. And so our margin utilities then will become the following. Since z is 0, the margin utility of x is just y. And since z is 0, the margin utility of y is just going to be x. And so utility maximization requires the margin utility per dollar for each good is the same. And since the price of good x and price of good y are 1, we just have y equals x. And we're going to plug that into the budget constraint. Again, uh, the budget constraint z is 0 when m is less than 2. Plugging $1 in for m and then making a substitution. Since y equals x, we'll replace that. And solving for x, x equals 1 half. And since y equals x, y equals 1 half. Okay, I'll stop here.